welcome to Jen's Unique Nibbles and More. And today I'm doing something a little different. I was watching a uh, seminar, I think you would call it, by Think Media. See, I took notes. I took more notes. They had a challenge for doing a two minute video. And I'm not sure if it's supposed to be about how are you improving your channel or is it supposed to be within your niche. So I'm gonna try to cram both into the same video. And um, the things that I thought were the most useful in the video of today was, uh, I don't think the hook was too bad um, because I do tasting and unboxing and you know what you're getting into when you click it. So you either want that or you don't want that. So, uh, um, but they had some great content tips and they had a great some great guidelines for the end. I think a lot of times people don't actually watch videos all the way to the end, but if they did, what you do probably matters, and I'm pretty sure that uh, I've done things and I need to do some things differently, and so I'm going to be looking into that. And um, they, they touched on things like believing in yourself and not not worrying about what's the outcome going to be and, and not worrying about being concerned of whether or not you're good enough because we all have those fears and you just have to just do it basically. I don't want to use all their exact words because it's a uh, seminar and it's something people pay for that information so I don't want to um, give too many details on that. Anyway, to combine it with my niche, because I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing today, I had to get gas, I was running errands, I went to the one and only water store that didn't sell uh, soda pop and snacks, and I was hungry, so I went to the gas station, got myself a soft drink. It's just a Diet Coke, everybody's had Diet Coke, not a big deal. Hair, I have a hair stuffed to the cup, that's attractive. Anyway, the reason I wanted to talk about it is because... What I learned back when I was pregnant, many, many years ago, was that, um, well, I had gestational diabetes, and my doctor told me that it was okay to drink diet sodas sometimes, but to be careful and preferably not drink the ones that come out of a soda fountain, that's the ones where you push the button and you get something like this, right? Because it's actually, a, quite often, a slightly different recipe than the ones that are going in a can or a bottle that you're going to have at home. Um, there's two differences. One is that there's a chance of cross-contamination when they do the, uh, the lines, when they hook up the lines, they can kind of get them crossed. So you think you're getting a Diet Coke and you've actually got a little bit of regular Coca-Cola syrup in there, for example. And the other thing is that the soda companies, and maybe it's not all of them, but some of them, um, when they make the syrup for the soda machine, the soda fountain machines, it's actually a different, slightly different recipe, and it can actually have some sugar. Well, they usually use corn syrup, right? It can actually have those things in there. So I'm no longer diabetic, so sometimes I will get soda from the soda fountain. But uh, if you are diabetic, we're dealing with metabolic syndrome, uh, insulin resistance, can't lose weight, that sort of thing. Something to be aware of, that there might actually be some sugar, hidden sugar, hidden calories in your soft drinks from those machines. If you like this kind of content, somewhere up there, one of them will link you to another one of my videos in one of them. Please subscribe and hit like. It's great talking to you today. Bye.